Animation has always fascinated me. Minecraft, of course, also fascinates me. I thought I'd try my hand at combining the two and seeing what I can make of it. Using Minecraft to animate isn't a new concept you've seen many people do before, usually with command blocks within the game. But I wanted to try my own approach where I use Minecraft as a platform to create the frames but animate it outside of Minecraft. The effect is the same, the only difference is I'm not doing it 100% in-game. I have seen it done this way before too, but I haven't tried any of these methods myself, hence the video where we explore the process. So, what all goes into animating something in Minecraft? Well, first you'd have to know what you're animating and how many frames per second do you want to animate it at. At least that's what I would assume you would do if you wanted to do it from scratch, but I didn't do it from scratch. I did it the easy way where I looked up an image sequence of a horse running and used all of those frames as references for each individual build. So I didn't have to determine how many frames I was going to build for a running sequence. I had 15 references right in front of me, so 15 frames it is. I chose a smaller scale to work from so there wouldn't be too drastic of a change from frame to frame in terms of how many blocks will need to be displaced or added. Copying from a reference for each frame was a huge help, but I would like to sometime try it without using a reference or trying to animate something a little more dynamic. I can see it taking an eternity to do, but it would be something fun to try at some point. This was a good experimental project, though, for me to figure out a good workflow for animating within Minecraft and outside of Minecraft, because it does get pretty complicated. While repositioning each frame, I found the leg position to be the easiest because it's the most clear on where the new position is. Other movements, such as the neck and head, are so subtle that I couldn't see them very well, unless I overlaid each frame, which I didn't bother to do that but could have. But also, I think since I am building at such a small scale in Minecraft, it's really hard to get those really minuscule movements within an animation like this. I'm eyeballing it the best I can, and we'll see how it turns out. After way too long, I finally have the base frames all built. It's nothing fancy here, just the basic shapes for each frame. Now with all of these frames all lined up, it's time to start the tedious process of how to even build this animation since I did decide I'm not doing it in-game. Using command blocks is too complicated for me, so I'm going to go into an even more complicated program called Blender, and we'll animate it in there. But first, we have to download the world and then export each individual frame in Mineways. Right now, I am just going to do a test animation of my current frames, and if these frames are shaped well enough, I'm going to go back in and retexture them. But this is already becoming quite a long process to do it this way because I do have to export each frame individually in Mineways. Then I have to import them individually into Blender and line them up appropriately so they will connect with the animation. So far we have these steps. Build the frames in Minecraft, which was the longest step. Download the world. Export frames from Mineways. Upload frames into Blender and then the rest of the steps would be render those frames and build the animation. For this test animation, I didn't bother with anything fancy, I just did a basic light, put my camera in place, rendered each frame, and then I built the animation in Photoshop using those frames just to see how it played out. And my goodness, it was beautiful. But not beautiful enough. This was just the test run. I need to go in and see what I can fix. The most obvious thing I have to change about these frames is adding a bit of color or texture to them. I kept it very simple because I do have to repeat these textures onto every frame. So I only did basic things like adding two different blocks for the mane and tail, two different blocks for the body, a separate block for the hooves, and one for the eyes. So I kept it very basic, but even so, it did take me about an hour just to color these few frames at this scale. By the time I was done, I wondered if I should even bother adding more to this animation, but then I thought better of it and decided to just keep it as is. With all that done, I get to repeat the same process from before, 
download world, upload into mineways, export for rendering, upload into blender, rename and reposition each frame, and then I wanted to do something a little different. Instead of rendering each frame and combining them in Photoshop, this time I wanted to keep the entire animation strictly in Blender, which means I had to do some research on how to create a frame animation where each frame is only making a certain object visible. So I had to make each object visible and disappear for each frame. And I found it and it did work. It was just a very complicated process because that's Blender for you. At long last, after quite a bit of experimenting, I finally have my horse animation. Let's go ahead and look at it now and we can deconstruct it. First impressions. I think it turned out very well. There are some things that I think could have been improved. The main one being I felt like the neck and head were a bit too stiff. I did try to add some forward motion to it, but I didn't move the neck as much as it should have moved. The motion of the tail could have been smoother as well. I may have built it a little bit randomly from frame to frame, but regardless of those nitpicky things, I think it turned out very nice. I would like to try this again sometime, maybe something more complicated, but as for this animation, it was a fun experiment.